The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from overseas, weighing in at 149 pounds, the captain, Jack. Some would say the superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun, heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> what? That is horrible advice. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition. And here we go. And his opponent from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 228 pounds, Mike E. Here's someone who knows that victory isn't given to you. You have to take it. You have to rip it out of other people's hands. And then you have to make sure they never come looking for it. Okay, relax, Corey. I think you've been spending too much time talking with this superstar backstage. It's kind of unhealthy. A very high-pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. This match is going to come down to who has the better endurance, who can capitalize on the small opportunities, because there probably won't be many. I agree, Corey. It's going to be evident in a hurry who's been working on their cardio to build up their stamina. As the saying goes, fatigue makes cowards of us all. Well, there are no cowards in the WWE, Michael, but you make your point. If you don't have enough gas in the tank, you're definitely not going to win an Iron Man match. Oh, Whoa, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, that knee strike. right back with a reversal. Kendo stick to the score. Oh. He knew that was coming. Yikes, that don't even wake you up or knock you out. Facing yourself is the name of the game when it comes to the Iron Man match. Sure, getting the early falls can be important, but the last thing you want to do here is overexert yourself too early on and be too winded later in the game to protect yourself. It's a delicate balancing act, that's for sure. Back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Sharp punch. Boom! All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. What a line. Right forearm. Gets out of there in a hurry. Okay, he's re entering the ring. being faced with a lot of adversity right now. Oh my gosh, cover! Shoulders are down! Gets the shoulder up after one. I didn't think this 
match was close to over. Kick to the gut. Right around into a neck breaker. Hooked up. DDT. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, my God. And he's adamantly in control. That's what he does. Keeps on the attack. Returning to the ring now. Expected as that was, there's no doubt in my mind that it will only make this Hell in a Cell match even more memorable. Absolutely. What a match. He's making the climb. The climb to what? This is rather reckless of him. Wouldn't you say? This whole match is reckless, but necessary. And now he's making the ascent of the cell. Why? Well, it's time to text your friends. Something big's about to go down. I think we're about to find out, Corey. Knee strike to the face. Why in the world are they doing this? They escape the dangers of the cell just to fight up to the top where every step could be your last. What an overhand shot. in the palm of his hand, and he knows it. Hooked up. Boom. We knew what we were in for with this matchup, but we didn't think the hell was going to be let loose above the cell. The foot DDT! Someone get the EMT. 
TNT's ready. I just know this isn't going to end well. Precariously battling 25 feet up in the air. Another big move. Trying to twist cut. And just like that, it's all over. I have to say, I feel like we are just one move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more misstep. tonight. Oh, what a knee. My 
gosh, this is making the hair on my neck stand up. The nervous energy has come across this arena as war is waged on top of the cell. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Standing shooting star press, incredible. with a kick to the gut. Look at this crowd. It's insanity in here. Bedlam. Carefully stalking their opponent. Basement drop kick. What impact. Every fall on top of the cell is like putting your flesh through a meat grinder. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one.
Nothing good ever comes from fighting on top of the cell. Knees up, had that telegraph, but can it be capitalized? Oh my God! I don't know why he would do that. A reminder, we have EMT standing by to assess his situation. Forearm. <laughs> what a punch. Boom, uppercut. That'll knock you silly. Boom. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Oh, stiff uppercut. Here he goes, right on the side of the cell. Making it look easy. Remember, though, what goes up must come down, and sometimes it's the coming down part that gets you. Ooh, bashing each other on the side of the cell. But to what end? I don't think there's any end, Saxton. I don't think there's an end until someone gets taken out of here on a stretcher. Ooh! Hang out for dear life now. A fall from the side of the cell would be devastating. I could hear the entire WWE Universe gasping in unison. He's reached the top. Now what? I shudder to think. Do it. And now they're both trying to the side of this gigantic steel cell. What's he trying to prove here? That he's the best? He's reached the peak! What is he thinking? Oh my gosh, a follow-up moonsault slam? Carefully measured knee drop. Are these superstars even aware of the peril they're in? I think they have blinders on, Saxton. I don't think they're completely aware of their surroundings. They just have tunnel vision for each other. Saw that one coming. Shot right to the gut. Ooh, DDT. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. You can just feel the imminent. Couldn't finish it in a given time. 